In this video, I'm gonna walk through a solution to a practice problem. Uh, give this a try first um, and then watch the video. Uh, so in this one, we're going back to our problem that we were working on earlier in the lectures, looking at this iron dimer uh, reacting with hydrochloric acid. Um, so we're seeing a first, uh, we're going to actually have the dimer do a different reaction now. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but the, so our dimer is going to have a first order decomposition. So the dimer is going to break down into a couple of different things when it's exposed to air at room temperature. And I'm going to track the decrease in concentration of the dimer over time. And I get this uh, pile of data right here. And the question is, what is the half-life? What do I, what, what's the half-life for this? So I already know it's a first order decomposition, which is extremely helpful. Um, that means that I'll be able to use some of my equations that I already know. So I know my half-life equation for first order is equal to 0 0.693 divided by K. And I know my rate law as well. My rate law is equal to the natural log of my concentration at time T over my initial concentration and sorry, this is the integrated rate law over T. So I, I can find this half-life um, for this right here. This is, so if I wanna find the half-life, it's this right here, but I'm gonna need K to do that. And I, I don't have K yet, but I can find K from my integrated rate law. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first find K uh, and then I'll find T one half. So uh, for this, I'm going to take two of my data points. I'm going to take these first initial ones right here. Um, and so my initial concentration is going to be here at time zero and at time T, it's going to be this one after six hours. So I'll take the natural log of my 9.5 molar divided by my 10 molar. Uh, and I'll set that equal to the negative of the K. This is what I need to find. And time is six hours. Uh, so I can plug this into my calculator and rearrange and I'll solve for a K value that's equal to 0 0.00855 inverse hours. All right, so now I'm gonna plug that value into my T uh, one half, my half-life expression. So I'm just plugging that in where K would be. So that's 0 0.00855 inverse hours. And plugging this into my calculator, I get a half-life equal to 81.05 hours. That's it. And so I have to use two equations to do this, but I'm able, especially knowing that it's first order simplifies this. Um, and I'm able to use that data, the concentration versus time data to find the half-life. 